Hi, it's Phil here from Revive My Ride and in the last couple of weeks I've been experiencing some diesel smell when I'm driving. Now this can smell like an exhaust smell inside the car or sometimes even just a general fuel smell. Now I've actually come across this before a few times and it's almost always a fuel leak in the engine bay. And it doesn't have to be a very big leak to cause quite a smell. So we've just got back from a drive and the engine's nice and warm and potentially if there is a leak on the engine then the diesel's been dripping a little bit. And now that we're stationary we're not getting any airflow coming from the front and carrying away those diesel smells. So now that I'm idling here on the drive they'll be building up under the bonnet. And so the quick test that you can do at this point is literally just to turn the heating system on and make sure it's not set to recirc, make sure it's drawing air from outside because most heating systems actually draw the air from under the bonnet. Now I'd be ready to crack open a window or open the door if it gets too powerful in here because if the fumes are there then they'll get drawn in here quite quickly. Okay so this is how you do it. You know literally just turn on your fan and see if the smell comes through. Yeah okay so that really stinks. So we've definitely got a leak under there so let's get the car switched off and jump out and have a look and see if we can spot it because that diesel will evaporate off after a while and it makes it a lot harder to spot. So this engine's a Mercedes OM642 3 litre V6 diesel and so if your car is exactly the same as this then great because it'll all be like for like uh, but don't worry if it's not because I'll talk through some of the principles of what to look for which should still help you. So the first thing is to pop the engine cover off and these days they're almost always just push fit into place and this one's no different. So you just kind of uh, start grabbing at the corners and pulling up and that'll just pop free. Before we get started you'll notice that the engine's not running so you might be thinking well why doesn't he run it and then you'll see the dripping or spraying or whatever it is. Now the reason I'm not doing that is because on the lower pressure side then you're probably talking 80 or 100 psi fuel pressure but on diesels they have a high pressure fuel pump and these can generate psi into the thousands so if there's a small leak somewhere and i start reaching and leaning in then it can literally cut right through your skin so you don't want to be doing that in the first instance i would always investigate with the engine turned off so there's a few common areas that could be leaking on the diesel engine and the first one is the fuel injectors, three of which can be found under here. And because this engine's a V6, there's three more on the other side of the engine. But in order to inspect them, you'll need to remove items such as the air intake, the air box, and sometimes insulation. So now we can go ahead and inspect around these three injectors here. The stainless steel pipes and fittings are the high pressure diesel supplies to the fuel injectors and the black hoses and black plastic fittings are the return lines. So we're looking at each of these injectors in those areas looking for the fuel leak. And as you can see, everything looks all right. If you had a small leak in this area, then you might get away with tightening up the stainless steel nut to give it a better seal. Or if it's on the return side on the black plastic fittings, there's actually a little O-ring that sits in those and a little collet that you pull up to pop them free. So that's a way that you can repair that. So that's area one, the injectors. The next one is um, hoses supplying the high pressure fuel pump. So this is the, um, the fuel line that comes from the filter. And then the fitting that actually comes out of the high pressure fuel pump and goes to the fuel injectors. This is one potential area. And as you can see, you can kind of see those uh, straight away. And, uh, and they're looking okay. And the final high probability area is the fuel filter itself which on this engine just sits here in the middle of the V of the engine. Now the fuel lines themselves are really easy to spot because they often have this special type of fuel clamp on them because they have to be really strong. If you see a hose with this type of spring type um, hose clamp then it's almost certainly not a fuel line because they just wouldn't be strong enough to stop that hose from blowing off. So I've had a little bit of an easy time of it this time because just here I can see that this hose connection is really dirty and underneath I can actually see some uh, pooling uh, diesel. So it looks like this hose where it goes into the fuel filter is leaking. So I'm just going to clean this up so I can have a better look and see what the problem might be. 
So it looks like this hose um, clamp's been digging into the hose quite a lot. And also maybe with movement etc. Then the end of this hose has started to wear quite a bit. But the hose itself, it actually doesn't look such um, bad condition. And I can see that there's a little bit of extra, um, extra length on the hose here. So what I'm proposing to do is to undo that clamp and they can be used again if you're careful with them. And then snip off the minimum amount necessary from the hose, so maybe about 10 or 12 millimeters, and then push that hose back again and reattach the clamp. If that doesn't work and I still get a problem, then I do have the option to uh, fit a uh, replacement length of hose. So what you can do is you can just get some pliers at the back edge here and at the front edge there, and you can squeeze that clip a little bit. And then using a screwdriver, you can just um, pop it loose, just like that. And now with the clip undone, you should be able to slide the hose off of the fuel filter. And here under the clip, you can see some damage to the hose. And you can see there's a little bit of a split at the end of the hose as well. So I'm just going to snip off the end of the hose to remove the damaged section. Now all you have to do is push the hose back onto the filter and then slide the clamp back into place and then finally squeeze the clamp to click it back in. Again pliers and a screwdriver will help you click the clamp back closed. Hopefully this video helped you and if it did then please consider giving me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to make sure you get to see my next video. And finally if you want to see more videos just like this one then why not check out the recommended videos on the right. Okay thanks for watching catch you next time.